Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have my top 10 authors that I have read. I got this list based off of Goodreads. If you go onto Goodreads, I think you have to do it on your actual computer. If you go onto Goodreads and you go into your read bot, like shelf, there's a spot on the left that says top authors or like most read authors. So that's where I got this list from so I didn't spend all day counting all my books. But this is the top 10. So I'm going to start with number one. And I grabbed all of the very first books that I've read by these authors except one because one's still somewhere in a box. So I have the, another book that I read by her. And then one I think I got rid of. So let's just get started. So the first author that is my most read author is probably no surprise if you see what's behind me. And that is the Pretty Little Liars series by Sarah Shepard. So I've read the entire like 18 book series with Pretty Little Liars plus the two like novella books that come with it plus the um her other series that I am blanking on the name of right now. So I have read 21 books by Sarah Shepard. That's a lot. I can't believe I've actually like stuck through with this but she's my most read author. Um, number two is Nicholas Sparks with 19. This was the very first book that I've ever read by him. Um, I remember like getting this at the library and reading it for like um, Valentine's Day that year. I was like, this is my year to start Nicholas Sparks and I have gone crazy. I've read every single book that he's written except for his newest one, See Me. Um, not See Me. Two by Two. I just read See Me. Two by Two. So I have read basically everything this guy has ever written. So that's that. Um, number three is no other than J.K. Rowling. Yeah. You're probably like, you said you were going to hold up the first one you ever read by that author. Yeah, unfortunately, um, when I was a child, I only read book three. And then I didn't read the rest of the series until a couple years ago on my channel. Um, but since then, I've read 18 of her books. I've read the entire um, Harry Potter series. I've read Tales of Beetle the Bard. I've read um, The Cuckoo's Calling, um, the second one that I'm blanking on, The Silkworm. I've read um, the one with the check mark on it, Casual Vacancy. I don't know if that's counting the fact that I've also put in like the illustrated editions and my paperback editions. I don't know if that's what that's counting too, but either way, she'd probably make it on this list anyways. Number four is no other than Ellen Hildebrand, and the first book that I read by her was The Beach Street. Um, not Beach Street, The Beach Club, and I've read 17 books by her. I've also been working my way through reading everything she's written. Um, I think there's still a couple that I haven't read. I'm not sure. I know I have one on my TBR shelf that I haven't read. But other than that, I might have read all of her books. I'm not sure. But she's obviously one that would make this list as well. Miss number five, which tied for four, is Miss Diane Chamberlain. Um, and this is the first book that I read by her, and that is The Secret Life of C.C. Blokes. I actually got introduced to Diane Chamberlain by one of my real life best friends. She, um, one day she was like, oh, I'm reading this really good book. I'm reading The Secret Life of CC Books. I was like, that's cool. Awesome. And then I went to my library bookstore like maybe like months later and they had this there and it was a dollar, but I got it on sale for 50 cents. And even though like it was beat up and things like that, I was like, well, for 50 cents. And she said it was good. I better pick it up. And I have been addicted ever since. So, 17 books from Miss Don Chamberlain. Um, number six is Nora Roberts with 15. I think this is my first Nora Roberts book. She had this book. I have this book and another bind up that I know that I bought at the same time. Um, but I'm pretty sure I read this one first. And it's funny because since reading this, I think it was last summer I discovered that I read a book that was technically the first three books to these two books. Um, so I've been determined to reread this and it just hasn't happened yet. Um, but yeah, this is the Calhoun series. There's a bind up of the first three and then this is the bind up of the last two. And this was my first one. I really like reading series out of order in case you couldn't tell. Just 
how life works. Um, number seven with 13 books read. This is the one that I think is in a box somewhere, but that is Rochelle Mead. I did not read Bloodlines first. I read Vampire Academy first. Um, and for some reason, I think because I did a reread of it while I was living at the apartment, it's got to be in one of the, po the packed boxes already. But this one's fun to show anyways because it is signed. I have a lot of her books signed. Um, so I've read her entire Vampire Academy series, I've read her entire Bloodline series, and I have read Soundless. I have Game Board of the Gods still to read that I own, and then, I don't know, I've been like tossing and turning whether I wanted to read um, her new trilogy that she's releasing, um, but I've just been, I don't know, too nervous because I've heard mixed things about it, but Michelle Mead with 13. This is the book that I don't have. Number eight is Lemony Snicket because I read all 13 books of his series of unfortunate events. I did not like a single one of those. I don't know how I read all 13, but I read all of them. I don't have them. I believe they're also somewhere like if I need them for a future classroom, but I don't have access to them right now. So Lemony Snicket. <laughs> um, number nine is Mr. Rick Roy Orden with the... Um, with 13 books read as well, so three-way tie here. Um, I've read the, um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I've read the first four books in the, um, Heroes of Olympus. I've read the Magnus Chase, the first book, and I've read the entire, um, Red Pyramid trilogy. So, 13 books for him. And obviously this was the first book I've read to get me in there. And then number 10, I bet you can't guess who this one is. I only talk about her all the time as well. It's so funny. She's the 10th one, and I've read 10 books by her, and that is Jackie Collins. Um, this is the first book that I read by her. This is Poor Little Bitch Girl. This is, like, um, the seventh book in a series or something like that. So, again, I love to read things out of order by accident all the time. She is such a guilty pleasure read. These books are by far not amazing, but I get so sucked into the world she creates and these characters and all the drama that they go through that I still love her to pieces, even though I know she's not, like, absolutely fantastic. I feel, like, bad talking about her like this because she's dead now, but, like, still, I love these books. Um, so I've read the, this series, I'm still missing the first book, I still haven't read it, and then this, these three books are standalone books. So, yeah. Alrighty, my friends, that me concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know some of your top read authors down below, and I will see you guys really soon. I just realized this entire video I filmed without putting my wedding ring on. This is what I get for getting ready and, like, forgetting to, like, I am so out of sync living here that normally, like, the first thing I do when I wake up is, like, put my rings on. And for some reason, like, I started getting ready and I didn't put my rings on. Ugh, that's so weird. I don't, I always feel weird without them. I'm surprised I didn't notice it sooner. Ugh, that's so weird. So weird. All right, that, that was a random ending. I'm sorry. But, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody.